Have you ever noticed the pitch of the train whistle decreases gradually as it moves away from you? Yes, actually the pitch of the train whistle is not decreasing. We experience the perceived sound shift due to the phenomenon of Doppler effect. Yes, it's Doppler effect. In this video, I'll be explaining you about the Doppler effect. Now, let's consider an example. Here, a man and a woman are standing at the two ends of the railway station platform. We consider this train as a source of sound. Let's see what happens when train moves. From the man's point of view, the train moves away and the whistle of the train pitch gradually decreases. So we say he experienced a low frequency of sound. From the woman's point of view, the train approaches her and the whistle of the train pitch increases gradually. So we say she experienced a high frequency of sound. This motion related frequency change is Doppler effect. In 1842, an Austrian physicist, Christian Doppler, proposed the Doppler effect. It says, an apparent change in the frequency due to relative motion between the source of the sound and the observer is called Doppler effect. Now, we'll consider three cases. In all these cases, train is considered as a source of sound and the man is considered as an observer. Let's see the first case. The observer is at rest and the source is moving. Here we see the source is moving away from the man and he experience a gradual decrease in the sound. In the second case, the observer is moving but the source is at rest. When the man moves closer to the source, he experiences a high frequency of sound and as he moves away from the source, he experiences a low frequency of sound. In third case, both the observer and the source are moving. Here, the change in the frequency of the sound depends on the speed of the observer and the train. For example, if both are moving at the same speed, then there is no change in the frequency of the sound. Let's see a familiar application of Doppler effect. We all might have seen how the traffic police finds the speed of the moving car with an equipment. Let's see the theory behind it. Waves moving from the equipment are directed towards the moving car. These waves are reflected back by the car by calculating the shift in the wavelength, the speed of the car is determined. I hope I have cleared this concept. If you have any queries, you can leave a comment. I will reply for it. My name is Justina and I thank you for watching this video. And please click on the thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel to view more such videos.